Okay, welcome here. We're showing you how to import CAD data um, into your parcel fabric. And so what we're doing here is selecting all of our CAD lines. This could also be in a shape file. We're going to copy these and then we go to our parcel fabric and what we need to do here is to start a new plan in the plan directory and we're going to create that plan from scratch or find an existing one. Once we have that created we need to right click on it and go to construction and this is what's going to allow us to paste our lines uh, into that plan and hence create parcels in the fabric by pasting that geometry in there. Uh, now this is very important to follow those procedures in order to uh, have it generate the line work that we'll see here. Once we click paste, we get the dialog box to come up. This is where we can define what kind of boundary lines or what kind of lines we want in there. In this case, we pick standard boundary. And there you see all of those lines and vertices are populated directly from the shape file. In this case, I have a few uh, yellow areas flagged. Um, obviously, those are areas that are there's maybe some dirty CAD data. We had little maybe short segments. But after I'm happy with that, then I'm going to click uh, to build those parcels. In this case, we're going to build and keep current because there's really nothing to mark historic. And that brings me to the joining dialog box. Now I'm ready to join my new subdivision into the fabric. And here's where I want to go around and select my fabric points. I can highlight those in the, uh, in the corners. I have a couple control points here. In this case, with this control point, I've got a really short segment. I need to zoom in very closely to look at that. And uh, once I get zoomed in far enough, I can then go ahead and create the bounding box uh, joining that particular fabric point. So then at this point, what I do is come along and find any other areas that I'm able to join to, uh, might join the fabric points to during this process. And you'll see on the uh, boundary on the, on the edge there, I've got some points to link to. And then I've got on the uh, upper boundary there, I've got some points that I can join and I'm going to make those uh, line points. If I can, I could use the trace tool um, or I could box those individually like I'll do here. Or here we have an example. We can use the trace tool and I'm only going to trace that section of the fabric where I want those points to be connected. The next point there in my, you know, as you traverse around, is obviously not supposed to be connected in this case. Then I'm ready to click join and that will actually join uh, my newly imported parcels into the fabric. So that saves a lot of time from having to Kogo all that information in. However, you will want to check your line work and your line table in the parcel dialog box just to make sure this uh, that the Kogo information does match the survey. That's very important. You'll want to make sure that everything uh, ties in there. So at this point it's asking next step would be to name those lots. In this case these are lots we're importing and we're going to use the name tool to select these in order of how I name those. In this case, we're going to start with number one, incrementing by one. And I'm for a prefix. In this case, I'm just going to put the word lot. So that uh, is the naming tool. Very handy way to update those and uh, get those plugged in there. And then uh, then we're going to have on the left or on the right, we can populate attributes and fill in uh, information here, like I'm putting in lot 40. And then what I'll do after this is I'll duplicate those tax, those lots. I will highlight all those and duplicate those for tax parcels. So thanks for watching.